All right, today's the day we are gonna finally use up all those little odds and ends and crystal bits that are left over from other projects and turn them into one-of-a-kind accessories that are gonna sparkle and steal the show. I can't wait. All right, you guys, welcome to my channel. This is the DIY Designer. My name is Orly Shani. I'm so stoked that you're here today because this is a legitimately functional, useful DIY video today. I'm gonna show you how to finally make use of those little sparkly bits that you've held onto because they're too pretty to throw away, but they're not big enough to do anything with. Today, we need just a tiny bit. I'm gonna show you how to make these earrings and these earrings and these earrings and this choker and this choker. I could have gone on forever and made 1 million projects, but I thought I'd stop at five. So all you need is a little bit of leftover whatever. That's the materials list. A little bit of leftover whatever and some glue. Anyway, that's it. Let's get right into it because this is such a great one and I'm super excited. Duh. All right, so here is where all my little odds and ends are. You guys probably remember this whole set. I actually have a lot of these. It was when I did that Kaylee Cuoco Dolce & Gabbana jacket and I have so much more than I need. So that'll become maybe a huge project at some point. I've got old fringe that I put on something and once I was over it, I ripped it off and saved it. I've got like random half yards of things and crystals just all sorts of little bits that maybe aren't enough to do an entire project, but are enough to do something. So let's start off with a bang and make these fringe earrings. Now I went and got a cheap pair of earrings that are like a rounded shape. They don't have to be a perfect circle, but I do think some sort of rounded shape will help because it's what we're gonna attach all the crystals to. Now I made one so that I knew what I was doing and now I'm filming making the second. I realized by the way that the camera didn't start right away. So those first three pieces are already glued on, but you're gonna get the picture very quickly. What you're gonna do is take your old fringe trim and you're just gonna cut little pieces, different lengths, different sizes, and you're gonna start attaching them with some glue to your earring. Your original earring will become your base. Now you could stop right there, that looks great, but we're gonna keep going. You can either add the glue to the earring itself and then attach the fringe onto it or attach a little bit of glue to the back of each little fringe piece and then apply them that way. Whatever's easier, but you're gonna work your way up. I recommend starting in the bottom center with your longest piece then go to your next two that are a little bit shorter, then a little bit shorter, then go long again, then go short, and we're just gonna try to create a layered effect. When I got to the top, I thought a nice big rounded one that goes from side to side would be nice, kind of clean finish it. They came out amazing. Now I added just a bunch more and really it's a step and repeat process. So I'm not gonna film too much detail, but you can see how pretty they look. They sparkle amazingly. They're all holding. I just kept adding little pieces, different lengths where I felt like it needed the balance, but they are really fun and really easy to do. And as you can see, all you need is like a tiny, tiny bit of trim that you can cut into tiny little pieces and attach. Next, let's move on with this guy. These are another pair of cheap earrings that I bought that actually come apart. So you can wear the bigger triangle behind your ear or in front, however you wanna do it. And I thought it would be fun to add the fringe to the back of that part of it. That way it could be like behind my ear as this little mini fringe detail. So again, I did one and once I decided what I liked, I cut the same lengths of rhinestone trim and I just am doing the second. So again, longer one in the middle, then I go a little bit shorter on the other side, a little bit shorter and a little bit shorter. For these particular earrings, it was important to make sure that the top piece of that little rhinestone does not come up so that you don't see it. See how like the top of the triangle, I don't wanna see the beginning of it. So it's a matter of using your finger to kind of push them down into place, make sure that everything is hidden, but otherwise, these are really fun. I can wear the bigger triangle in front or like this in the back, and it's a little bit more of a delicate version of that big fatty we just did. Now, this is another really easy one. I'm gonna take the full length, and I'm gonna use the entire length, and I'm just gonna glue it to an earring. I mean, it's like so easy. Look at like a tiny, the tiniest piece, literally like, I don't know, a quarter of an inch of trim is enough. So grab that little bit of trim, grab a flat earring, put a little bit of E6000 and pop it on the back. And that's it. These are really cool because they almost look like if you wear your hair behind your ears, it almost just looks like a bright little sparkly piece of hair. It's really pretty on. It would look great with hair up. So simple and so fun. And again, takes two seconds to do. You're just gonna apply it to the back of a regular flat little earring. Now let's do these chokers. I happen to have these two super cheap. You can see how cheap they are because they're like, bent like that. And I'm gonna grab some of this trim. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm just grabbing random pieces and laying them on, trying to figure out what I think would work with each one. And I did see this pearl trim and I thought, well, that'll look really good on the white one. 
It's got like rhinestones and pearls. I think like that'll look really pretty and it's just a tiny bit smaller than the choker, which is great because the edge of the choker will look like a border. Again, I'm grabbing my E6000, dabbing it on so that it's like evenly distributed, a nice thin layer, that's all you want. And now you're gonna grab your trim and lay it down. And that's literally it. Again, this is maybe eight inches of trim. It's plenty long enough to, or no, it's probably 12 inches of trim. Again, not long enough to do anything major, but enough to make a full necklace. So look for all the trims that you have that you thought weren't enough and think of where you can add them onto jewelry to give something a statement. Now, I think I'm gonna wanna tighten this choker a little bit. Actually, I feel like making it more of like a collar high up would be cool, but it looks really, really pretty. It's got just enough detail. It's almost got like a bridally vibe. It's really fun and super sparkly in the sun. Now for this one, I thought all of these big pieces that I have, I could make like a little centerpiece and it had a real like Y2K sort of vibe with the choker. So this is the piece I end up using. Again, I cut it off of a longer piece of trim and all it is is about two inches, one little piece, some glue, and that's it. Like. That's it. I mean, I don't, it's, there's no even uh, need for voice over here. It's really pretty and it's fun and it adds just a teeny bit of sparkle to something that's otherwise super simple. All right, that is it. I hope that this was really helpful. As you can see, it's so easy. It's so, so easy. I mean, come on. Jeans and a t-shirt and these fabulous earrings and you've got like a major look on your hands and it's one of a kind and you made it yourself and you used up old materials that would probably just sit in a bin driving you nuts forever. So you're welcome for that. Uh, I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. If you liked this video, I hope that you'll subscribe. I do really fun DIY every single week and it would mean so much if you would uh, join the fam. This channel means a lot to me. So I hope that you do come back for more. Uh, and for the rest of you, thank you so much. Let me know what you thought down below and comment down below if you have any questions. I love you guys. I will see you next week. Mwah. Bye.